Your patient has an upper airway obstruction, perhaps an asthmatic condition. We want to deliver helium oxygen. We use a 80-20 helium oxygen mix. Coming out of a tank that's pre-mixed, your flow meter is set at 10 liters per minute, and it is a normal flow meter. How would you know what your actual flow is? There's a ratio for 80-20. The flow factor is 1.8. So 1.8 times the 10 liters on a oxygen flow meter gives you a total flow rate of 18 liters per minute. That's 1.8 times 10. Pretty simple. If you were using a 70-30 mix, then your flow factor is 1.6. So if this was 70-30, it would then give you 16 liters total flow. And of course, if you were using a 60-40 helium oxygen mix, it's 1.4 flow factor. That's 1.4 times 10, which would give you a total flow of 14 liters per minute. <clears throat> For your board test, you must memorize these flow factors, 1.8, 1.6, 1.4. They must be memorized. So when you're doing this math, in the past there was no calculator, so you would use a flow meter set to 10. Right? Since calculators are now allowed, Expect perhaps a flow meter to be set on 13 liters per minute times 1.8. You'll have to use your calculator for that. For the board test, we would memorize these. That's what you should do too. In the real world, in my day, we carried a book around with us and we would look up the flow factor and they'd say, put this guy on 60-40. You'd turn to your book in the emergency room and say, oh, I've got a flow factor of 1.4. In today's modern world, you won't have to do that on the job. You'll pull, you'll pull out the little computer that you carry on your phone and connect to the internet and just research what the flow factor is for 60, 40, 70, 30, or 80, 20. The books, no one carries the books anymore. Memorize these flow factors.